Purchasing a gun in California is going to be a little harder in 2020. It's just one of several new gun laws taking effect this year. Our tennis reporter Amanda Brandeis has more on what you need to know. Whether or not you're a gun owner, some of California's newest laws could impact you, like AB 61. It allows people in a workplace or school to file a gun violence restraining order against a coworker, employee, employer, or student who's a threat to themselves or others. There is no magic wand that we can wave um, that's going to make us all safe, but we can at least bring in laws that will Head, in the, head us in the right direction. Carol Landell is a retired teacher and volunteer with San Diegans for Gun Violence Prevention. She's encouraged by the state's new laws, including one with direct ties to San Diego. Senate Bill 61 prevents anyone younger than 21 from buying a semi-automatic rifle, even with a hunting license, closing a loophole which allowed the 19-year-old accused of opening fire in a Poway synagogue to purchase his weapon. Another law raises the fee to purchase a gun to $31. The funds collected from those fees will go to enforcing the gun laws. So a responsible gun owner should have absolutely no problem with that. But gun rights advocates do have serious concerns with the new laws negatively impacting law-abiding citizens rather than criminals. In a statement to 10 News, Michael Schwartz with the San Diego County Gun Owners PAC said in part, despite having the most restrictive gun laws in the country, California had the most mass shootings in 2019. And there's no proof that adding to the various bans on the tools used for self-defense and sport will prevent crime. And while Landell is encouraged by the new laws, her group says more is still needed at the federal level. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Another law will prevent Californians from buying more than one semi-automatic rifle in a 30-day period. Also, new suicide warning labels must be put on gun packages and in gun stores starting June 1st.